Hey guys, well as you can see my office looks a little bit different today. Uh, I'm traveling right now, I'm working on my photography business, but I didn't want to leave you guys without any videos, okay? So I made a series for you guys, for you to enjoy, until I get back, alright? See you guys soon, bye. Alright, so we're in Maya 2018 and we're going to address the question that I received, how to create curved doors, okay? A couple of ways you can address that. We're going to do it um, based on a flat surface and bend that later. You can also go in, take a polygon cylinder and cut out the doors from there. Okay, so we are going to start with, uh, let's see, a, a polygon cylinder. Uh, we're going to control A. We're going to go in, set it to eight subdivisions. And then we're going to go in here, right click face, drag click all the bottom faces, delete that. We're gonna right click, go to object mode, go to display, and uh, let's see, uh, no, we're not gonna go to display, modify center pivot, hit W, hold on X, and snap it to the grid. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, go to face, drag, select these, we're gonna go to mesh, and not add, actually edit mesh, and detach. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it over here, and then we're gonna right click and go to edge and click these edges and go to edit mesh and bridge there you have it okay so um this should now be one object and i'm going to hit three there you go nice and rounded which is good we're going to right click go to edge we're going to double click on the entire outer edge hit Control e to extrude uh, let's do the offset let's say something like this to start with that's fine and we're going to hit enter then we're gonna jump into the top and we're gonna right click and go to vertex. And let's start to snap these. So hit uh, W to move them. Hold down V and let's turn off snapping here. Hold down V. And we're just gonna move those, okay? So let's work our way down. That will work for us. Yeah, I think it's fine. We can uh, bring out the door a little bit if we want. Um, if you want it to be perfectly centered, just uh, select them like this. Let's turn off the snapping here. So you can bring that up to there if you like. I think it's fine. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to queue on our keyboard. We're going to right click go to object mode. We're going to right click go to face. And we're going to select these faces here. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Detach. So now we can hit W, move that up, and there's your door. Okay. Now that's not just enough yet. We're going to go to Object Mode, select them both, and go to Mesh and Separate. And then we're going to take the one at the bottom there, go to Mesh and Smooth. Let's set Subdivision Level to 2. And then we'll take our door. Go to Mesh and Smooth, Subdivision Level to 2, okay? Now, let's uh, hit W and push it back in. Let's see if we get a good fit. We do. We're going to take this guy. We're going to Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.1 on the thickness. Take our door in Object Mode. Let's hit G to repeat last command. 0 0.1 on thickness. Okay, now if you want a really crisp edge, so uh, you know that your door is a door because it's kind of going to disappear if you fit it in there like this, you can have it fall back a little bit or whatnot. Uh, you can also go and uh, elevate that edge if you like. Okay, so we're going to go to face and you can hit Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.01 just so we've got a little elevation going on there. Okay, we're going to hit W, let's push this down to somewhere around here. And now we are going to uh, put a little a knob on the door. Let's do a sphere. Hit R, scale that in quite a bit. W to pull that up, pull that over. Let's see how it's sitting. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna drag select and actually 
we're just going to drag select without this guy because we don't want that to deform. So we're going to select these two. We're going to go to mesh and combine, go to deform, nonlinear and bend. Hit E to rotate our bend handle, hold down J and flip it like this. And then we're going to go into the bend tab. We're going to tweak the curvature. And you can see that the uh, control needs to flip down once more. So again, hold on J and flip down. There you go. So we're going to curve that door to something like this. And let me just check that angle here. Make sure everything is correct. This should be minus 90. There you go. And based on the position of this guy, we should be good. Okay. So we can now drag select the whole deal. Let's go to mesh and combine. We're going to go to edit delete by type history to get rid of that um, um, control. Hold down J and flip it upward. Hit W and move it up. And there's your curved door. And we're going to go to mesh and separate. We're going to take this guy and this guy. Go to mesh and combine. So now if I want this door to actually function, I'll just to pull it out just a little bit, kind of depending on where you want it to sit. You can go in, you can move the pivot point. So I'm going to hit the insert key, hit four for wireframe mode. Let's move that pivot point to right there. Hit the insert key again. And now you can hit E and you can open and close that door. There you go. You can see that it's hitting itself right here. That's something that you want to avoid. So a couple of ways to uh, fix that would either be to have hinges on the outside and you would have the pivot point be slightly outside the model. So if I go in here, this is the outer point. So I'm gonna hit the insert key. Your pivot point would be somewhere around here and that's where the hinge would be on the door. Hit the insert key again. So you would get something like this, which makes more sense. And there you have it. That's all there's to it. That's how you create a curved door. Okay. So if you get any questions, uh, let me know as always. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye.